Okay, the next two albums that I'm going to make for the Ultimate DIY Scrapbook printable template is going to be the banner album and the banner uh, envelope album. Um, I'm going to be doing this one a little bit different. I'm not going to use the binder rings. Um, I think I'm just going to do... I think I'm just going to use twine this time for, for this one. Um, I'm also going to be only using... Well, two, two types. Let me move this out. Well, first... Let me show you uh, what page I'm talking about here. Page... Page 31 is the banner flip, and then the covers for this one is on page 36, right there. And then I'm going to be doing the banner envelope album, and the cover for this is on page 39. But I'm going to start with this one, and I'm going to show you something a little bit different. What I did was I printed page 31 onto craft cardstock. Uh, I printed this off. I think I printed it off six times. I've already cut everything else out, but what I wanted to show you is in this album here, I made it to where they were, they were pockets, right? So how I did that, this is obviously not made to be a pocket like that. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this, this one out right here. And I'm going to be using uh, these as a, like a loose page as well. So I'm going to go ahead and trim it out. Well, I got it in here. And then I'm going to trim that flat. You don't need that flap at all for this type of album. And then I'm going to trim these two top flaps off as well. I think. No, nope. that's not what I did. I didn't trim these off. I trimmed one off and left one to close the bottom. You don't have to do that, of course. I'm glad I checked. Jeez Louise. So then I'm going to trim this side off over here. But instead of trimming this whole piece off, I'm going to leave a half an inch so that I can fold it over and make it into a pocket. I'm just going to guess. It really doesn't have to be an exact half an inch. But I'm going to try to cut it straight like that. So then, let me move this out of the way. But before I do any cutting, I'm going to score it down the middle here. I'm going to get my mat and my bone folder, my ruler. Because when I trim it, I want to go ahead and trim it out once it's folded together. If that makes sense. You can even like probably glue it together before you trim it out if you want to. Remove that. Let me find my scissors. First thing is I'm going to cut this extra flap off. I just need one, and I'm going to leave both of the flaps on the one side. This is just craft cardstock. I'm not sure which brand it is. And then I'm going to cut this corner off right here, and then I'm going to cut this corner off right here. Oh, I should have, whoops, I forgot. I should have scored this piece over here. Let me do that real quick. so that I can fold it easily. Okay, so all you want to do is you want to fold this piece down. And did I not do that one either? Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, so I forgot to do this line too. So I'm gonna go ahead and score that real quick. I'm just, I'm just not myself today. We've, my kids have been, my kid, my kid, my kids, I've got an older one who's, you know, out of the house, but then my younger one was out of school a lot last week, so. It's got me all messed up. So then you want to fold this. That doesn't look like I did a very good job on scoring this. It'll be fine. As a matter of fact, I think before I glue it together, I think I'm going to have it flip the other way around. So I'm just going to hold it while I trim it, and then I'm going to flip it around because I don't want that. I don't want to have to ink anything on this one. I try. I don't, I don't think I inked a thing. I've already prepared a lot of the pages, so 
I'm trying to keep it simple on this one. Okay, so now I'm going to flip it the other way around. I'm going to fold these back on themselves. Fold this back on itself. And then fold this back on itself. I might have to trim this up a little bit. There. So then I'm going to add me some tape right along here. Where's my tape? I'm going to use my score tape. You don't have to. You could just you could use whatever your favorite glue is. I'm just going to. I may not even. Well, uh, better because I'm really bad at tearing it with my fingernail. I never tear it correctly. So. Okay, and then I'm just going to remove the backing off the tape there and close it up. Okay. So just that simple. And if I need to trim a little bit off, uh, just going to trim a little bit off. So now I have a pocket that I made out of that page. All right, so what I'm going to do is for this album and for the banner envelope, I'm just going to use the 6x6 six six paper pads. I did use the 8.5x11 cardstock to make the main base, but I'm only going to use the 6x6 six six paper pad. I'm not going to use any, I'm not going to print anything off. I'm going to use my uh, add on matte templates for page 31. I'm going to use that and a pencil and my scissors. And I'm also going to use, um, like I said, I've already prepared some pages. So I'm also going to use the photos. I've got some photos. There's my son and his friend. They, <laughs> they were, um, they call it powder puff, where the boys that play football, they cheer and the, the cheerleaders play football. Anyways, so that was this day and they were being silly and there was some, some of the girls playing football and they're the perfect size for this. So this is just a four by six photo. So I laid, this is all I did. Um, is, whoops. You just lay it down. Looks like somebody's going to get their head cut off. Whoops. Oh well. Sorry. You just lay it down and trace it out. Did it move? It might have. So you can, you know, you can use your, your matte templates on your photos themselves. Now this isn't the actual photo. This is just a, like copy, or not, or I'm sorry, print it on just, um, good quality paper. Well, oh, crap, I keep moving it. So that I'm not, you know, ruining a whole photo and you just trim it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this photo. As the mat for my album. Now when I picked out my papers, um, I didn't cut this very well. You guys forgive me. When I picked out my papers, I wasn't intending on using some of my son's photos, but here we are, all the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down. It doesn't really go like, you know, the, the photos don't really go with the paper collection that I picked. And I'll get that back out in just a second. So I'm just going to attach the photo down. I'm using the Beacon Fabri-Tac, my favorite. And I'm going to lay that on there. And then here I just took some pieces, like I've got some old book page. And um, I'm going to grab a piece. This is printery uh, from Prima. It's an odor collection. Is there a year anywhere? Probably not. But it's one of my favorite printeries. I'm going to grab a piece. I've probably got a bunch of scraps because I've been... Let's see. What, what do we got here? I want a darker one. Well, 
No. How about this? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this down. I'm not going to cut the whole thing out like the banner, but I'm just going to get the width. I'm going to cut that. And then I'm just going to tear it a little bit. I'm going to tear it away from me like that. Uh-oh, my glue is erupting again. See it? That's awesome. And this is this one is so quick and easy. Um, let's see. I'm just going to place this down right here on this old uh, book text. Is it just one sheet? Yeah. I'll place that down just like that and then I'm going to tear that. And I'm going to trim out the excess paper. Just like that. Right? Now again, like I said, when I picked out the paper I was going to use, I was almost done preparing everything and then I was like, oh, these pictures were sitting on my computer desk because my son's doing, they're doing like an eighth grade um, video for their graduation. So those were sitting out and I was like, oh, wait a minute, those would be the perfect size for this album. So that's, that's how this came about. But again, I probably wouldn't have picked this paper line, but we're going with it. I wanted to show you. I just wanted to show you. So then also, for the insert, you can use this template. It fits perfectly inside there. And so what I did, I did, I used the template and I took uh, two sheets of the 6x6 pattern paper from the paper pad and glued them together. So they had, they were double sided. So then I laid the template down on it, traced it out, and then cut it out. So now I've got a double sided insert. So I've already prepared um, four of those. Do I need more? I thought I needed more. Well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. So I've already got some of those prepared. So that was easy, right? Oh, I better do the back side real quick before I... Um, maybe I'll do that off camera. So the next, like I said, I've already prepared a bunch. So this one is one of the pockets. <clears throat> and then this one is just the loose, it's just the loose one. So it's, I've done it on both sides. I've, you know, kept it the same with the, with the O paper and then the pattern paper. And then here's another pocket, you know. So yeah, there's just a loose one, another pocket. Loose, oh, that's a pocket. Oh, no, it isn't. That's two loose ones. <laughs> okay, so what I did was I punched two holes um, in there with my crop it out. Let me get it out so you can see with this thing. Punched two holes. And so all these are ready to go. I didn't really put them in very much. Oh, I better go ahead and punch this one. So I just, what I did was I punched one and then I laid them over top of each other and then punched the rest that way. Whoa. Just like that. Easy, easy, easy. So I'm just going to put these aside for a second. And then I'm going to show you, let me put this up. I mean, this is good, but this, I put this together so stinking fast. Um, Cause there's no inking involved. It's just quick and it's easy and it looks nice. And anyway, all right. So next thing I want to make the cover. So I went ahead and grabbed my cover template out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a recycled Christmas box. Um, you know, we just had Christmas and a lot of the boxes, especially when you're giving kids gifts and boxes, they tear them up pretty good. So I was trying to figure out something I could do with them and this is going to be perfect. So what I'm going to do, you can only tape them up so many times, right? 
I probably don't need to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and trim all these extra flaps off because I really just need this part, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So, Christmas boxes are kind of like poster board thickness, which isn't bad. You don't have to be super neat about this part because I'm going to be um, folding it over and then trimming it out. save them year after year after year because they can be salvaged. Alright, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to, which way do I want to do this? I think I'm going to do it this way. I'm just going to fold it in half. I'm going to press that down really good just so that it stays closed. Then I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac. Use whatever favorite glue. This I'm going to use this because I don't want it to warp at all, and I don't want to sit and wait for it to dry. So when you use like a white glue, there's a lot of moisture in there, and you have to sit and wait and and wait and wait and wait, and then it might warp, and just really that is just no fun. Okay, I'm really being generous with my glue here. I'm gonna cap it so it doesn't make a mess, and then. I'm just going to press it down really good. I really want to get that glue all over there. Oh, I, I lied. I did use ink one time. I used it for the cover just on the raw edges, and you'll see in just a second. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this banner cover template down, I trace around it, just like that, and then I'm going to grab my big scissors back out, these are my Tim Holtz uh, tonic scissors. Okay, and I'm just going to trim it out. You know, may, maybe I should have waited a minute to let the glue, glue dry a little bit more, but I'm not very patient today. My paper trimmer, my big heavy duty paper trimmer, it would, it would go through this pretty easily. But with the glue in there still wet, I didn't want to gunk it up. Since these scissors are resistant to that, um, resistant to the glue sticking to them, I'm just going to use these. Plus I bought them and I don't use them very often and they're really nice. So Okay, so I do want to um, use some ink. Again, there's my archival and coffee. And I'm really just wanting to get this raw edge right here because I'm going to put the paper on here right on top. And I don't want you to see that grayish color. So that is the one and only time. I'm pretty sure that's the only time I used ink on this album. Alright, so now I need to pick out my, my colors for my cover. Let's see, what do I have left in here? <laughs> One thing's for sure that that's, you know, kind of where I started doing the piecing together of the of the paper because I knew what the cover, the six by six piece of paper wasn't going to cover. See, there's that little bit extra. So I needed to make sure I could, you know, there was some sort of common theme going on. Um, let's see. I've got two of these pads, so I might end up getting, I like using that one. And I'm going to need an, an inside liner and an outside liner. Maybe I'll put, oh, I've already got one of these pulled. I'll put that one on the inside. Um, I want a green. Where's my other pad? 
I've got one that I barely have touched. I like this. Yeah. So you can do two things. You can just go ahead and glue it right down, or whichever paper you're going to use. Just go on and glue it right down and um, trim around it, or you can take your cover template and find a straight edge somewhere like that and trim it out. This is the easiest way, to be honest. If you glue it down first, it's harder to trim out, I think, because of the banner part. And then you just basically just want to trim her out. And see, there's where I was talking about it. Uh, oops. It's um, very short, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. Like that. Smooth her out. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use the old paper. I'm just going to go ahead and that looks like the perfect... I've, I've, I've taken, um, I did a altered book art journal and these were the pages that were, that I took out of that book. I left a lot of pages in, but I took a lot of pages out too. Alright, so now I want to put the, I want to put a piece of black, and I think I'm just going to use one of the scraps. Yeah. I'm just going to use the scrap and I'm going to lay this down to get the, the height of it. Like that. Then I'm going to cut it. And, mm -hmm. and then I'm just going to tear it. I'm tearing it away from me because I don't want that white edge to show. There we go. Just like that. And you know, once you have all of your pieces cut out, like when I, when I, made all of those other pages. You know, I built the page first and then I traced out a bunch of these and then, um, you know, had my book pages ready and it was just super fast. Just went like that. Um, oh, I need to do the back side. I'm going to do the back side and I'll be right back. All right, so I've got both sides covered here and I've already made another one, but I wanted to show you how I then punched the holes for this one. I just kind of eyeballed it a little bit and then I'm literally just going to mark it because I don't want, it might be a little too thick to go through with my, just straight up using my puncher. My, oh, wow, why did I put it way over there? <laughs> well, don't throw your crap knife down at your feet. That's not a good idea. You might st stab yourself. So then, I'm just going to Punch a hole. Each one. Easy, easy. All right. Where's my twine? Here it is. So then for a little bit of decorative something, something. Um, I think I've already made a cover. This is my front cover. So I just kind of twirled it around. I thought, I really like the way that looks. Because I did it on this one. See, and I think it looks really cool. I also used old book pages on that one, too. Um... And I thought it looked really nice with this with this paper line. So I'm going to do it on this one, except this is going to be my back cover. So I'm going to flip it this way and wrap it around like this. And I'm just going to tie a little knot. No big deal. Doesn't need to be a bow or anything. And I do not know. This might be... Canvas Corp. Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm going to use this to bind it too. So, all right. So now we got the front and back covers. So what I'm going to do is all of these pages have already been punched. So it's going to go like this, just like that. So I think I'm just going to have to take my time and maybe start with the back cover and just feed them through. 
I think that's the only that's the best way to do it. I guess I could take the time to put it on a needle, yada yada, but this seems like it's just easy enough. As long as you do it right. This one has been so easy, and I think it's so cool looking. And using just, you know, you can get those um, six by six paper pads at Hobby Lobby for five bucks, you know, and a lot of times if they go um, on sale, 40% off, 50% off. Oops, that one looks like it shifted a little bit. That's awesome. You know, you can get them pretty cheap, so I thought if you wanted to make a quick gift for somebody, Oh, there's the one. I, I didn't do the back side of it. Oh, well. I'll do it another time. And and if, if, you, if you used pictures, you know, you wouldn't have to use that much pattern paper at all. And you just use your favorite colored cardstock. So, for right this minute, I'm just going to tie a simple little bow. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to give myself plenty of extra... Um... I'm going to cut it now, <laughs> so I'll quit fighting it, so that I can mess around with what I, exactly I want to do with the thickness and whatnot. Oops, that bow is just a little too big. Probably don't need all that extra. So then I guess this one's going to be harder. Maybe I should have waited. I wonder if I can just thread it up through there. What do you think? Do you think it'll, it'll happen? It's possible. It could happen. Well, I can't. I can. I can, but I can't. Let's see. All right, if I could just hold it just like that. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, well, I didn't get but through one. <laughs> okay, now. Is, oh, I got a few, a couple there. Okay, here we go. Look, my twine is starting to. Uh oh, did I lose some of it? Yep. Come on. You could use binder rings as well. You don't have to use twine or ribbon or whatever. I'm just using what I have, basically. And I haven't planned out what I want to do on the cover, so it's very possible. I might just leave it just like this. Let me go ahead and cut this off. I don't know. I haven't decided. I might leave it as a bow for now so that I can go back and add things or move things or whatever, but I am going to cut the excess off. And I'll probably have to add a dab of glue to make sure that nothing goes anywhere. But, you know, it became, I think it, eventually I'm going to have to make it just like a knot. But yeah, that's easy, right? And it, it opens. And, and the pages shift just fine. Just fine. I like it. I like using the pictures. I think that that is just awesome. So yeah. Easy, right? I think so. So I think I used six pieces of 8.5 by 11 craft cardstock. And then I used my 6 by 6 paper pad. And I used just old book pages and then the templates and um, just twine stuff here. Easy, 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 easy. And that one, I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do on the cover yet. I'm just going to leave it because I don't know if I'll leave the pictures of my son and his friends in here, although they're adorable. This one's my son right there, and that's his friend. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that's that one. So this is the Banner Flag album. So this was the one... Whoa, brought my light with me. This is the one I showed. This is my prototype. So this, oh, you know what I didn't put in here? Uh, duh. These are just the matte templates that I um, 
glued two pieces of six by six together and then they'll stick out just a hair just like that so there we go so there's that album so there's the banner flag album which I think is awesome 